Good morning, friends. If you're new to my channel, I am Faith Storms, a licensed social worker and therapist with special interests in EFT, energy healing, and human design. If you like this video and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I post new content. So welcome to the Daily Drip. And today our topic is taking time for yourself. So why does this matter? It matters because if you don't have energy and strength and as I call it bandwidth, then you have nothing to offer anyone else. And I am sure many of you watching this are probably um, very heart-centered people, you care about others, you serve others, you take care of others, and if we are in that position, we need to have energy to give others. If we are exhausted, if we are run down, if we are depleted, we have nothing to give anyone else. And this is hard. A lot, a lot of folks are given the message to give and give and give and serve and serve. Um, I find this in a lot of religious communities, um, a lot of spiritual communities as well. There, there can be an imbalance. And I think what we are seeking, what we need to seek is a balance. It is fine to give and give and give. It is fine if to to give from an overflow, to give from an abundance. It's not so great to give from lack. What tends to happen is givers keep giving and then you get depleted and then you still give and you're running on empty and that leads to, I mean, not only does that lead to bad physical consequences for you, like you can get sick, you can get injured, um, you can have accidents more often if you're not your best. It also leads to emotional consequences like resentment and bitterness and anger at those you are serving. Not because they're doing anything wrong, but because you're serving from a place of lack. And so as you feel them draining your like life force from you that you need to survive, um, yeah, you're gonna, there's gonna be some consequences of that. So the reason we need to take time for ourselves is so that we can keep being the wonderful givers we want to be. It, it really, it really is. It really is just like that. So taking time for yourself can be simple and please start, start, start simple. Take five or 10 minutes, you know, to take a breath, to relax, to do some grounding exercises, to do some tapping, to do anything that you enjoy. If you can take more time, great. Um, I am off work today because I am preparing to run and judge a guinea pig show tomorrow. And I also scheduled a massage for myself this afternoon. Now I did this weeks ago. Well, weeks, a month, at least a month ago, because I was like, oh, I'm going to have a day off. And yes, I have this stuff I need to do for the show, but I can take an hour and a half <laughs> and go get a massage. So I'm doing that today for myself. I also let myself sleep in and lay in bed a little bit this morning. So I didn't like jump up real early. So I gave myself that extra rest. I'm still going to get my show stuff done today. Still going to do my show prep. Still going to go to the feed store and take care of my animals. No, that's all. Those are labors of love. So that's, that's not a problem. But the point is, I'm still doing stuff. But I'm bringing an intentional, let me bring some restfulness into today. Let me bring some refreshment and rejuvenation into today. And if you are thinking about this subject of, okay, let me, let me do something for me. And then you have resistance. Here we go. <laughs> so even though we're going to do some tapping, I'm telling you like tapping for many of us is such a key 
to peace and, and wellness. So, so rub the sore spots, even though I have some resistance to taking time for myself, even though a part of me thinks, oh my gosh, this is wrong. Like I shouldn't, I should keep doing for everybody else. I accept myself, even though part of me has some resistance to taking time for myself. I accept this. So even though part of me resists taking time for myself, I choose to release the idea that I can't, like that I can't do for myself. I choose to release anything blocking me from taking some time for myself, anything blocking me from taking care of myself. Even though I have this belief that, oh my gosh, I shouldn't. It's like wrong somehow to take time for me. I choose to release any beliefs blocking me from taking time. The roots and origins of this, who knows where it came from. Could be your family, could be family messages, could be ancestral, could be religious, it could be the church you grew up in that taught you, you know, it's selfish to do for you. Let me just add in scripture, <laughs> I was raised Christian, um, so I've read the Bible so many times. Jesus did withdraw from the crowds. He did not constantly serve people 24 seven. So if Jesus needed some time to himself, guess what? We probably do too. Okay. Just putting that in there. <sighs> all the roots and origins, all that this does to me, all that this does for me. Tapping eyebrows, side of your eye, under your eye, nose and chin. I do the nose and chin together. Collarbone. Under the armpit. Top of your head. And the gamut spot. I put it on my chest. Eyes open, eyes closed, eyes open. Hard down right, hard down left. Circle in one direction, circle in the other. Um, <laughs> count to five, one, two, three, four, five. Hum again. <laughs> Eyebrows, side of your eye, under your eye, nose and chin, collarbone under the armpit, and top of your head. Take a breath for your body. Okay. I feel better. <laughs> I feel more at ease. I always do when I tap. Okay. So... The question I ask you today is, what are you going to do for yourself? So um, pick a little something to do for yourself and put it in the comments so that we can celebrate doing a little bit for ourselves and support each other in doing something for ourselves. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.